guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk about why I'm not going to be tier 4 Storm. And part of it is going to be shown off and sort of explained by this gameplay. Uh, but basically, it's a lot of the same criticisms we already have of the character. Uh, just piled on with the fact that I don't really feel like spending, you know, 150 to $200 to experience those same problems. And it basically comes down to the devs unwillingness to change storm in a meaningful way and what that what that sounds like when we actually criticize the character is what you've been hearing lately she's too slow she has very low healing and she has very little defense and having low healing is not actually that big of an issue if you have a lot of defense right like look like at colossus right like sure his artifact is great for nuts it's actually terrible for healing but you sort of get what i'm saying but in Storm's case, uh, it doesn't matter because even if her heal was doubled, she still gets one-shotted by almost every attack that uh, most bosses do uh, unless you've been, you've been fast enough to uh, put up an attack. Now, offensively, as you can see, she's formidable. But having a glass cannon, as anyone who plays MFF long enough can tell you, or just in general, like... Very few players actually enjoy playing Glass Cannons, a Glass Cannon being a character that hits really hard but can't take a hit, hence Glass Cannon. Uh, they're not actually that fun to play, and I know that it's, oh, it's a game with 250 characters, so they're not all going to play the same, and I, I can respect that. Also, look at how bad her damage is when you miss the proc. This is with the CTP of energy. Her damage when you miss the proc is atrocious. It's hilariously bad. Anywho... Um, playing, playing uh, a glass cannon is not that fun. Furthermore, the fact that they've sort of forced us to play a glass cannon if you want to progress in world boss legend content is really annoying. And it's, it's borderline, it's borderline toxic. I don't want to be too, I don't want to exaggerate too much, but I'm like, what were the devs thinking here? Like, what was the end goal here to, to piss off the whales? Uh, into spending that's that's not really a good game plan right like that that doesn't sound like a game plan that makes sense oh yeah we'll take this character that we know is really unfun to play because she's super slow and super weak defensively and we'll just crank her damage to 11 but we'll we'll keep her defenses super low we'll keep her hp super low we'll give her one measly heal um, and that's it, and we'll call it it, and, oh, and we'll just crank the damage, and then we'll, we'll call it a day, right? Like, they, they basically gave us the bare minimum after, after not give what is going on? Okay, she's getting, okay, I couldn't even see the tornadoes, to be honest. After not giving us any mutants for six months, and if you consider that they basically only gave us Betsy and Emma, I just, okay, we lost. I took too long. Cool. I missed a proc. I don't really care. She can do that stage, obviously. The point I'm trying to make here is, after not giving us any suitable, any, any, you know, functional, usable mutants for six months, but actually longer than that, right? Because it may have taken some accounts longer to get to this stage, right? To get to whatever stage 50, uh, whatever, 50 of Null, 60 of Mephisto, whatever it is, right? 45 of Ultron. Other accounts have been here for a long time, right? And they've had to use brilliant CTPs or whatever to get around that. So the fact that this is their first non reforged CTP option is, is is embarrassing and it's honestly really annoying as well. Like there's there's just so many things like just top to bottom the storm tier 4 decision by the devs was just wrong on every single level. It broke the pattern of doing one of each typing. It delayed the speed tier 4. It needlessly put storm in the crosshairs to be compared to both iron man and thor right iron man as a blast type and thor as an elemental by the way she loses to both of them so it's like there's so many things wrong with 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 doing it this way to be honest here's the best thing about storm she's so bad defensively she's so slow defensively and by the way the tier four doesn't change that she doesn't miraculously get movement speed at tier four so all that investment is just to beef up her offenses it's just adding more glass cannons to 
the glass battleship. Uh, the best part is, the best part about that is, I don't need her tier 4. I don't need it at all. And I know I said before that you don't actually need any tier 4s to do any of the existing content. But I mean, even if I want to push. Now, I know I, I just failed that fight. But she can definitely do that fight um, handily at 72, right? So she could she can climb probably all the way up to 54 for me. And then I can throw her away and not use her except as a support. And I hate the fact that I'm treating Storm this way. Because I'm obviously channeling my anger for the devs and their decisions through her. Because she doesn't deserve it. Storm is an amazing character. She's a super cool mutant. She's one of the leaders of the X-Men. She deserves way better than this. You're going to need to take her to at least 80, I'm guessing. Uh, in order to do Ultron. And I may have to also switch her obelisk, her, her CTP. So for those of you who are like mid-level spenders or uh, long-time veterans who are near where I am in terms of progression. And you're just interested in progression. I'll show you that there's no way she can do this. I missed my proc. There's almost no way she can do this at 72. Not only does she risk dying for literally anything, but as you can see here, I'm like missing procs. Oh, she's dead. Okay, no, I'm at uh, 7,000 HP. Cool. Yeah, like she takes a ton of damage. Uh, I'm missing so many procs. But yeah, her damage is not good here. I'll, I'll we'll line up this next proc. I can't even run out of that. Okay, cool. There we go. This is a this is a well hit tier three proc as you can see very little damage and i'm all again on the brink of death by the way she takes damage from those poison clouds while um she's in the tier three animation so that's super cool so yeah as you can see the uh the level 70 to level 72 jump was huge for null like i went from barely clearing that stage to clearing it with two minutes so just 70 to 72 is massive for Null. Massive. And then it probably has a diminishing return for Mephisto, but it's barely noticeable for Ultron. So you'd have to take her up to 80 to really notice anything on Ultron. And so I'll do that now and see uh, how much better she gets. But I'm really disappointed in this character in specific. I was going to make a video, another video ranting about how the quality of characters like the quality of uniforms has gone down this year compared to last year. Uh, but then I was playing around with a few different characters and I realized that I was wrong. Like Electro had an amazing rework this year. He has really cool animations, really cool effects. They obviously thought about his rework um, quite long and like they did a really good job. Uh, same thing with like Electra. So there are, a there are actually a lot of good reworks this year and I don't want to uh, just, you know, throw a fit because I'm upset about other things. But this this is certainly something that uh, feels justifiable to be upset about. The, the way that they um, approach this. Because, like, it's so obvious, right? It's so obvious. Everyone in the world, right? My dog, Bacon, was like, speed tier 4? Everyone in the world was thinking speed tier 4. And they they knew that we knew. Right? They knew that we were thinking speed tier 4. So for them to be like, uh, uh, uh blast is, is annoying. That's step one. And then to make it a mutant uh, and to hide the power behind a paywall uniform is even worse. Right? Like if they had made the paywall uniform Iceman, this is a completely different conversation. That one change is a completely different conversation. But no. They had to go for the trifecta of shit, as I refer to it. So let's see, let's see how much 80. Of course, he starts off with a move where he moves away from me. So of course, we don't actually get to see the the, the full damage from this uh, from this hit. I can I cannot press skills today, dude. I'm still I'm still obviously brain dead. Jesus, I was pressing that fourth skill for like five full seconds. It felt like. But yeah, man, I just like <sighs> Storm is so annoying. Honestly, she's not a good tier four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Beast Mode. I'm sorry, uh, Commander. I, I respect their sacrifice. You guys should go and watch their videos, even if you have no interest in tier fouring Storm, just to uh, just to show them some support because they put the wallets down and they uh, sacrificed their their uh, sanities for the for the greater good of the community. But um, I cannot bring myself, bro, she can't even do this. I can't bring myself to tier 4 storm. I don't know if she can do this, actually. So this was a waste of materials. That's fine. 
he keeps moving around. Holy crap, I'm going to have an aneurysm. I'm going to legitimately have... He just he just optimized? I don't even know what's going on. This, is, this run is dead. I'm almost a minute in and I've done two bars. I don't think she can do this stage. He moves around too much when she's iframing. And she, has, she doesn't have enough AoE. And then... Iceman probably has a better shot at the stage. Jeez, no, Iceman can't do the stage. What am I saying? Um, no other character can... No other mutant can do this stage, by the way. Of course, he opens again with another move. Like, if he didn't move around, she can absolutely do this. You can see the damage is, is absolutely there. 100%. Um, but he just he just moves around like crazy. I'm just going to pop the tier, four or the tier 3 early. He moved. Of course. Of course he moved. Oh, my God. This dude. Yeah, maybe if I'm like super disciplined. No, never mind. She's dead. That's crazy. She took so much damage. She got hit by two tornadoes and like two auto attacks from Ultron. And that was enough. That's mental, dude. Like, why would you why would you want to play a character that's this fragile? That's that's the other thing, right? Like, that's the other thing that blows my mind is the devs, right? That, that's the other thing that really irritates me. So that's kind of like my final my final thought was that that fight was was garbage. My my final thought and the, what pisses me off so much about Storm is that they know how difficult she is to play, and yet they gave her a tier four in order to be used for these high level stages, right? Forty five to fifty, forty five to forty nine of Ultron, fifty to fifty four of Null. They gave us this character who they know has low HP very low defenses and one of the lowest movement speeds in the game so they picked literally the worst candidate literally the worst candidate for aggressive high level competitive content right it makes no sense at all whoever did this it has their head up their ass or they're trolling the community you, you take your pick, you, whichever one you think is better, because there's no logical explanation for this, unless the very next update is more mutants. If that's the case, then I'll shut up. I'll admit I was wrong, and we'll see how this shakes out. Maybe they want Storm to be a support. I don't know, but this makes no sense. If they want to thrust Storm into the spotlight, that's fine, but then make her able to stand in the spotlight. Honey can't even stand in the spotlight because she's going to melt because she has no defense and no HP. She dies to, to poison puddles. And even at tier four, she, she'll die to those things. She, she's not immune. Like she doesn't, again, she doesn't miraculously gain billions of defense and billions of movement speed and HP at tier four. Her tier four advancement, you can take a look at it. It's not that good. You, you take a look at the, the stat bump. It's not that good, right? So, yeah, uh, it, it's 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 very disappointing, and that's why I will absolutely not be tier fouring Storm. Whatever she can do, I'll I'll get her to climb for me. If she can't climb, I'll just throw her in the bin, give her an insight, and move on with my day. I'm sorry that it has to be Storm. It's really not Storm's fault. It's the devs' fault. Um, but they really need to, they really need to, to, to bump up the communication because I don't think they've communicated anything to us since February and the la the last few updates have felt pretty lackluster. Um, multiverse of madness was barely an MCU update. It was, it was very small for an MCU for a major MCU film that was embarrassing. Moon Knight felt rushed as, as hell. There's no gore in Thor. And now this crap? That's four strikes, baby. In the Intergalactic Baseball League, you're out. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm basically done being sick. So yeah, we'll, we'll be back to our regular scheduled programming. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.